All right, short and sweet, guys. We had a 6.8 earthquake. Okay, Arctic Circle. Check it out. You know what I mean? Up there where we shouldn't really be having these big ones. Um, but I think I kind of tied in some stuff here. This is th this right here is Greenland. Oops. This is Greenland. This is Iceland. So it's north of Iceland, east of Greenland. 6.8. So go to USGS. You can check it out. Go check out Dutch Sense. He does a lot of good work over there. I can't really explain to you everything and all the science behind it, but I do know that it has something to do with what's called angle of separation, usually. Um, that's like when planets or not really planets so much, but comets and, and other planets, yeah, kind of line up in a certain direction. And the separation of those two angles, that distance, causes stuff to push and pull and things like that. And they've been able to predict earthquakes because of this. Our Earth is uh, liquid in the middle, guys. At least that's what most of us believe. Um, think about like a floating floor in your kitchen, you know, or anywhere in your house. It's the, the boards are just sitting on top and they move some, right? Well, that's exactly what the crust does here on the earth. Now, why I think this, what broke the straw broke the camel's back on this earthquake. First off, I'm going to take you to the SWMF tool here, guys. They shut this thing down, guys, 20 minutes before the earthquake happened. No coincidence there, guys. Sorry. I mean, I really don't think that there was. Now, this is the last capture before they shut it down right here. Okay. Look at us. We look like an egg. Getting pushed on from both sides, and that's what happens. Okay. So, you know, pretend you're holding a water balloon and you push it on both sides. Kind of makes it oblong. And then when you let that pressure go, what happens? goes back to spherical, right? Well, if the Earth was doing that and it went back to spherical, what happens? The crust moves, right? Okay, now something else that I'm going to show here is I don't typically show this part of this graph. Um, if you guys want to go to this site, I'll leave a link. at ccmc.gsfc.nasa.gov. Um, it shows you all these models but it's all it is is the latest capture okay and it updates every five minutes so if you just want to see one one capture it's a good site to go to okay um, you'll see the latest one but anyway we haven't seen this dark color in a while guys this is the northern hemisphere looking down on the, on the north pole okay now i'm going to explain it like this why do i think or why do we even think that pressure like this could cause earthquakes you would think most people logically would think and it makes sense that like this red when you're getting pushed on with the red that's when you react right well not necessarily okay kind of think of it like this say you take your i don't know everybody's probably retained water at some point right Okay, take your finger, your thumb, push on your leg where you're retaining water, and it turns into a big divot, right? When you take your thumb off, what happens? All that water tries to rush back in and fill that hole, right? And push, push your skin back out where it's supposed to be. That's exactly what happens here, guys. Okay, why I'm saying this is just because this is low pressure doesn't mean that ain't what caused the earthquake. If this low pressure was just one notch up, say instead of the dark dark blue, it was like light green or something. Okay, so that means it would be pushing here at light green, right? Well, then the light green goes to no pressure at all, but the earth's still pushing against the light green. Well, the light green ain't there anymore. What happens when the earth's pushing out like that and it just releases, right? The crust stuff moves, is what I'm trying to say. Now, you can, you can think of it like this. Say you had a friend, you were wrestling with them or what have you when you were a kid. They're trying to get away from you, right? You're trying to hold on to them. So you grab their arm. Well, they take off. They're trying to go, trying to go, and you're like, I'll get these guys, and you just let go, right? What happens? They make it about a step, and then they fall. Why? 
because of momentum, okay? They were already trying to head that way, and you let go, so that the force of you no longer trying to hold them caused them to fall, not necessarily because they were still trying to pull that way. So you don't have that even pressure, is what I'm trying to say. So the, whether it pushes in or pushes out, either one can cause an earthquake, okay? What you want is you want that level pressure. That's what you want. So I hope that helped explain, you know, kind of why we, we go to these models and try to tie them in together to some of these earthquakes and why we get them. You know, when, when you see something up in the Arctic Circle like that, yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Okay. Now, I'm going to um, <coughs> take you over to my gallery real quick. I think I have... Okay, yeah, it's not really the one I wanted there. So, we'll go ahead and uh, go to the screenshots because I do have some of those pics, I think. Obviously, I got a lot of the magnetosphere pictures. Now, we got to keep in mind, too, guys, that we did have a lot of pressure going on, right? For multiple days in a row. Okay. Just pretend you sat on your leg for two days. And then you tried to stand up. That's kind of what it's like for the earth. Okay. Uh, well, this is kind. Of, this will kind of help explain what I'm talking about. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Why in the world is the, the biggest pressure coming from straight... Coming from uh, the North Pole. We're pushing down on the north north part of the, the top of the Earth. It should be over here, guys. And then over here. So, yeah. We've seen that. And I've seen a lot of it. I mean, it was actually kind of creeping into here even, guys. And it was just on the top. We didn't even have any pressure around this other direction. That's what was odd to me. That shouldn't do that. Because there's nothing... There should be no objects here or here. Causing magnetic disruptions or force this way. The objects are here. The sun and our planets are behind us. And whatever else is back there. We just don't know. But... Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to address something just real quick. Okay? I want you guys to know that I will never, ever judge any of you guys at all, period. And this hasn't really came up, but I've seen it coming up on a lot of the channels right now, okay? I'm not going to judge you guys in the, not even just a little bit. It's not my place, okay? If I'm going to try to get you to believe what I believe through love and kindness. That's how I work. Now, everybody doesn't work that way, and I ain't saying that I'm going to let somebody, you know, just run all over me, but I do tend to, you know, be a little bit more on the passive side. It's just who I am, all right? And, and you know, and I hope that that shows on my channel, because that's really what I try to do. I'm everybody's friend, guys. I don't pick sides. I just don't. And it makes me very uncomfortable, and frankly, it makes me, it upsets me when I feel like I almost have to pick a side. I'm not going to do it, okay? I'm not doing it anymore. So, <laughs> I won't pick sides on any of that kind of stuff, no matter what it is. I always say on my channel, it's my opinion. It's all it is. It's just my opinion. I'm showing you my observations. Okay, sorry about that, I drop, dropped uh, something. Um, <coughs> showing you my observations, and then I give you my opinion on stuff. You know, I don't just assume that I'm correct. One thing I can tell you, I will always tell you the truth. Because being truthful and being correct are two different things. Okay, they can be the same thing. But sometimes they're different. Because unless I'm trying to intentionally 
deceive you, then what I'm telling you is the truth, according to me. Right? Does it make does it make me right or wrong? It can. Okay. But I will always tell you the truth. I promise. And that goes for all my subs, all the other channels that are out there, because I love every one of them. I really do, because I think everybody brings something to the table. And I'm trying to get other people like myself that haven't had a channel for very long. I like to help them out, you know, kind of bring them up, because it makes us all stronger. The more info we can get out there, guys, the better we are. And the more we can have an open mind as far as the research and stuff. Okay? I ain't saying be crazy and believe everything you hear. That's not what I'm saying. But we have to have an open mind enough. And, and I think most people that believe that there is a system here, at least at one point, they had a pretty open mind. You have to. So let's not, let's not forget that. Let's respect each other. Okay? Comment section, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, I talk in my comment section. I don't get very many bad comments down there. And I only erase for vulgarity or if you attack another sub or another channel in my comment section. I will delete the video or delete the comment right away if I see that stuff. And if I see extreme vulgarity, I ain't saying like if you say damn or whatever ass or something like that that's not going to make me say oh my gosh i gotta delete that you know you guys know what i'm talking about when you're being very very vulgar i've had a couple comments like that and i haven't really spoke about it because i just delete them and go on but i'm going to get you with love i ain't going to get you with hate and meanness if i can't get you with love then i guess you know maybe i'm not the one that's supposed to get you okay but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, hopefully it wasn't too long here. Sorry about my little rant there on the end. I tried to keep it short too. But I had to address that because my comment section was getting a little crazy in a couple areas. And I didn't want to, you know, instead of just answering them one by one, taking forever, I just wanted to do it like this. So, you know. Anyway. Um, we're going to go ahead and end this video, and i got some more stuff to show you tomorrow, guys. Missing time. You know, Sean you know, sent me some stuff. Kathy has sent me some stuff. As always, Kenny G, he sent some rocking stuff. Um, and then uh, The Truth Hunters is a, is a station or a channel you guys should go look at. It's called The Truth Hunters. Uh, <coughs> they're in Germany, believe it or not. It's, it's just one guy. It's his channel. But he's been sending me some stuff, and it's some good stuff, guys. So, you know, go check that stuff out. Um, and there's a girl named Mary. Uh, she she doesn't... English isn't her first uh, language, but I'll leave a link to that. She went through the heliosphere and had a very good explanation on how to navigate some of that stuff. And she she's not really been messing with that very long. She tried to send me the video so I could look at it, but it was too large. So she just decided to post it on her channel, which is that exactly how I started my channel. I made one or two videos because they were too big to send in an email. And then now, now look at me, I'm doing them, you know, all the time. So, uh, you know, let's just find the truth, guys, and let's love everybody. All right? So, uh, yeah. God bless. Yeshua saves, and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid. <laughs>